As you can see, this is the latest TWRP available for POCO X3. Once it's booted into recovery, go to wipe and select the advanced wipe section and select Dalvik Catcher Data and swipe here to wipe it. Again, press this home button and select install and select the storage wherever you downloaded the files. I am using here SD card. First, flash the firmware as usual. FW Surya MUA Surya in global 12.5.4 Surya global 12.5.4 this one it takes a little bit of time to flash done again press this home button and select the install and select the rom zip file in this video i am going to flash the descendant os as you can see descendant surya 12.0 2022 2nd february and 17th build date you can check out here as you can see with February security patch. It takes a little bit of time to flash the ROM. Wait until it gets flashed. As you can see the ROM zip file has been flashed. Again go to home button here and select here wipe again and select this time format data and type here YES and press this tick button. Done. Go to reboot and select system. This is how the flashing method for Descendant OS and a 12 based version with February security patch. And by the way, if you are still not subscribed to my YouTube channel or you are first time visiting to my channel, hit that subscribe button down below here, red color available. And also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon. And if you like the video, give it a like. And here comes the Descendant logo. It's booted into Descendant OS. In this video, I am going to explain about the BGMA gameplay bugs, features and benchmark results, battery life, everything will be explained in this video. Stay tuned till the end of the video and let's begin this video. Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video guys. This is Sampath, you are watching Sampath Samfx YouTube channel and this is a Descendant OS and you can see here, this is a Poco X3 IAVR Indian variant 6GB128 variant surya if you want you can even flash it in karna also same method same everything just battery life going to little bit differ that's it and it comes with fifth security i mean fifth february 2022 security patch latest one and the kernel used here is 4.14.196 kernel has been used here and build number and build date is missing but it's the latest build 17th february build number and i have been running the cpu throttling test from last five minutes you can check out here the maximum is 156 and average is 151 and minimum is 142 and no cpu thermoning throttling has been detected in this room which is pretty good and even the scores are also really good comparing with last few roms there were very less scores but in this room you get very good healthy scores single score could have been better around like 560 550 like that but anyhow 508 and 1640 multi score and coming to enter to benchmark results you get 3,61,000 as you can see 118 and the temperature raise is just 0 0.9 degree celsius and 3% battery drainage has been noticed while during the testing of enter to and this is how the app drawer and this is how the home screen you look and there are widgets available and quick settings panel little bit tweaked here they made square type like this if you want you can any make it like before also and there are some of the options you can add from dragging that and all the features are working fine me sound enhance results again and if you want to go into settings this is how the settings panel it's fine enough the rom is smooth enough and coming to dialer you get here direct video call feature is available i am using reliance geo sim And there is no call recording feature in this ROM. It's fine enough. Earpiece quality is also nice. No echo or anything like that during calls. And let's see the speed test in this ROM. You get around like this. I have here like 100 Mbps Geo Gigafiber connection. It's pulling up to 92.95. It's fine enough. Even with mobile data also, it's working fine. No problem regarding the internet connection. And you get Google Go camera as a pre-installed camera application here all the basic things you can do it on that but i have installed this arnobel gcam and there is xml also i shared in my telegram channel you can check out in my telegram channel same name sambat samfx telegram twitter facebook facebook page 
Instagram, YouTube, wherever you go, only one name, Sampath Samfx, that is official. You can follow or you can ask there. I can provide you the links to that particular, whatever you ask, I will give the official links and the video, everything is working fine in this ROM. As you can see, the Arnobel Gcam can fulfill your things regarding camera and if you want you can use any gcam ports also you can comment down below such that i can use that gcam port and check out whether is it better or good to have in a custom roms that's how it is and google photos you get unlimited storage no need to worry regarding that also and safety net status let me show you here it get failed you need to manually pass by using safety net fix you can flash through recovery or if you want to root you can use magix manager there also you can pass it using that files that's how it is but directly they would have been given but it's not given that's how it is and level one certification in drm info you can watch all the ott application in hd resolution that's no problem here and this is how the contents you get fm radio is included and some of the options like what's new they have mentioned here you can see here improvements and bug fixes and interface changes security updated to 5th uh, february this one there are some customization added into the app driver i mean apps itself like gestures as you can see just call on pickup it's there upon pickup gesture call will be silenced if you shake like that answer call once up upon pickup gesture plus hovering the phone near your ear will answer your call this are some of the gestures you can check out here and there is also media related gestures media halting and resume media there's a cool feature added in this round this is the descendant os version 12 based on android 12 with february security patch for poker x and if you're first time to this channel and if you are watching for first time this video hit that subscribe down below and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like and let's move into settings here and apps you get default apps here if you want to change an app like home launcher you want to change your phone app to true color you can change from here that's all it is and game settings you get this game dashboard and do not disturb for game special app accessor also given in this rom coming to battle life it will not record for first time i don't know why if it is recorded it would be good and battery indicator you get battery style and battery percentage and this customization included within the profiles itself and coming into display settings you get brightness level and adaptive brightness is working fine and some of the clock styles as you can see some of the customization has been added like this here ambient lights and clock style you can change it stock os and sony is also given cryptino is also again some of the options are given lots of customization is there but not that much also but it's present and lock screen and dark theme you can enable from here it's not pitch black condition and there are no presets also that i really don't like in any dark theme in any rom if they given pitch black then only i can agree that's dark theme but this how it is i'll disable it out and auto brightness sensor is also working fine in this room no problem and colors you get nightlight feature here you can schedule it out both dark theme and nightlight and colors you get natural boosted saturated and adaptive keep it boosted it looks better and lcd features are given so abc mode modern personalization you can change here as you can see some of the options are given old tile appearance print of options are given and minimum refresh rate and peak refresh rate has been given double tap to wake anywhere on the screen that's also given into the accessibility menu we get print of options here this is how the accessibility menu you can use it in any android tool aosp roms this is a cool feature you can adjust the brightness from here it completely blown away the brightness okay this is how accessibility menu can be used you can even control the volume from here as you can see it's maximum 
that's how it's cool feature to have you can definitely try it out and switch axis all the accessibility settings and vibration haptic feedback you can enable or disable from here like sound settings you get all the options me sound enhancer is also included you can choose the headphone type and preset from here clear speaker is also included all the basic settings again and coming to security settings you just get a fingerprint unlock there is no face unlock or anything like that it's quick enough you can check out as you can see just tap unlock just tap unlock it's quick enough to have like this and there is no face unlock and and there is no app lock also that's how it is and location it's also working fine no problem regarding that and this axis of camera and mic and location can be notified here that standard 12 feature is included in this rom into the system settings you get all the basic settings here like you can change some of the options here also status bar tune and data time gesture and language and input you can change from here into the let me go into gestures and three finger screenshot is given and gesture navigation bar you cannot adjust the length and radius that is missing and double tap to lock on screen gestures magic that what i said before also that's present in this rom and the rom is encrypted many people ask about that also this other digital well-being is given in this rom how many people use it i don't know but it's present all the features are working fine no problem in this room as you can see this all the recent apps it's fine enough its speed fine no problem just safety net status could have been passed that's what i can say and let's see the bgma gameplay in this rom how can it handle and what are the graphic settings available on this rom this are the bgma settings you get pretty good settings you get smooth plus extreme and 90 fps option is also enabled in this rom i kept to extreme as you can see it's constant 60 fps here game dashboard can show you the frames per second many people ask about this include the frames per second in the video if it is given i can definitely include it but there are no such apps like clearly mention the actual frames per second hence i can't include them but it's present in this rom you can check out here the frames volume also pretty loud up to 70 percent as you can see 72 let's see you can see here 56 60 its average is like 50 per 50 frames per second okay let's see one thing let's we do 90 fps now let's see yeah it's increased now you can see here it's 90 let's see you can see out the fps here how it's getting dropped when more enemies are available we'll get an idea how is the gameplay by the way if you're liking my content give it a like also it's fine definitely playable in 90 fps but it gets warmed
fine enough you can see the fps were also like 77 minimum was and maximum is 90 it's fine enough you can definitely try it out as a gaming rom also it's really that good i'll come back finish the match it was definitely playable i played complete match and let me show you the charging animation in this rom how we will get as you can see it shows like turbo charging here nothing has been mentioned and you get that wobbling effect of and at all that's still present and these are the fingerprint speeds and i hope i explained everything in this rom if you like the video give it a like and if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button also and uh, that's all guys in this video we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now